2016. The accident pilot was due to fly a second passenger of the day for a touristic flight in his 1945 North American P-51D Mustang. Registration, Golf Mike Sierra Tango Golf. The second passenger arrived at Topcroft Farm Airstrip with members of his family for a flight to overfly a number of World War II United States Army Air Force airfields around Norfolk. The pilot briefed the passenger, who was then assisted to climb into the aircraft and strap in. The aircraft took off from runway 28 at approximately 1348 and flew northwest towards the wash. It then flew inland to turn onto a southeasterly track near March, turning west of Eye towards Bungay and then back towards Hardwick. The aircraft neared Hardwick at approximately 1433 and entered a holding pattern northwest of the airfield before joining downwind for a right hand circuit to runway 28. The pilot then flew a continuous descending turn onto approximately a 1km final approach. The wind at the time was reported as being from the northwest slash north northwest at about 13 knots, with a maximum recorded gust from northwest at 22 knots. A witness on the airfield standing approximately halfway along and slightly to the south of the runway videoed the final approach and initial part of the landing. From a visual assessment of the video, the aircraft approach with its landing gear extended and flaps appeared to be fully down. The final approach seemed stable, however there appeared little if any attempt to compensate for the crosswind by either side slipping into wind or flying with the into wind wing slightly down. The video showed the aircraft achieve a three point touchdown and bounce back into the air. The aircraft appeared to be approximately aligned with the runway and to drift left towards the runway edge. At the same time there was a small amount of left roll which was corrected with ailerons. The aircraft then touched down again and bounced a second time, an engine RPM increase being heard on the video shortly after this touchdown. The aircraft was seen to fly increasingly to the left of the runway, narrowly missing a tree standing in the adjacent field to the south of the airstrip. It remained at low level until it collided with a tree at the boundary of the field, causing the aircraft to impact the ground. The emergency service were called and arrived on the site shortly afterwards. The pilot was seriously injured and the passenger received fatal injuries. The aircraft had struck a mature oak tree on the boundary between two fields, with marks showing that one of the propeller blades had been the first point of impact. There was a 57 metre debris trail on a bearing of 225 degrees, leading from the tree to the main wreckage. The aircraft had come to a rest upright in the field beyond the tree, resting on its right main wheel and tail wheel, with the trailing edges of the wing and tail plane tips dug into the soil. After the propeller had hit the tree, the aircraft continued onward, with the tree passing along the left side of the fuselage. The intersection of the left wing was struck by the tree, causing the wing to detach before the left tail plane then detached as it was also hit by the tree. The propeller had detached from the engine along with its drive gear and was lying in the wreckage trail close to the aircraft. All but one of the blades were complete but all were heavily distorted. The left tail plane was lying in a ditch near the base of the tree and the left flap and elevator was lying a short distance further on. The left wing was lying upside down in the field 65 metres from the tree away from the main wreckage. The left main landing gear was still attached to the wing, but was in the retracted position. Although the fuselage and engine showed little or no signs of fire, the remains of the left self-sealing fuel tank and a large portion of the tree had evidence of a brief but intense fire. The pilot survived the impact, but suffered a number of serious injuries, particularly to his neck and burns to his face and neck. He had been wearing cotton overalls with a polyester cotton shirt, he had also been wearing a composite flying helmet with integrated headphones, microphone and visor. The pilot had no recollection of the flight. The passenger was fatally injured with significant injuries to his head and neck. He had been wearing normal clothing and although he was wearing a headset, he had not been wearing a helmet or any other form of head protection. Medical assessments of his injuries sustained was that it was unlikely that wearing of a helmet would have changed the outcome. The drifting of the aircraft to the left could be attributed to the corkscrew effect, gyroscopic action and asymmetric blade effect, as well as the crosswind. For more information, please read the AAIB report, linked in the description below.
Then use the comment section below to discuss this accident. I do want these videos to be used to actively think about how to become a safer pilot. Please subscribe as there are more videos on the way and finally do let us know how to improve these videos. Thank you.